A quick little video this week. Today's video is about drum patterns. Coming up with drum patterns can be difficult, especially when trying to come up with unique ideas and not just the same patterns that you always use. And in this video, I want to cover a tool inside of FL Studio that can help you with this problem. At least one person a week leaves a comment on my video that I made a while back on unique drum patterns. And they ask me how I put all of my drums on one piano roll in that video like you see here. For those that don't know, using FPC allows you to do this. This is a tool inside of FL Studio that is meant to mimic the MPC, where you use a bunch of pads that can trigger different sounds. And what's great about using this tool is that it allows you to have both the same flexibility of using the channel rack to create your drum patterns very easily, since everything is just all in one place. But you also get access to the piano roll tools, as well as easy access to play around with the events section, so you can control the velocity and panning and so forth. So you sort of get the best of both worlds when you're using the FPC, as well as some additional benefits that can really help you out that I'll cover in this video. So in order to use this, you could drag your own sounds into the FPC and begin to draw your own drum pattern up in the piano roll. But one of the great features inside of the FPC is that it can also provide you with drum pattern templates. And I know what you might be thinking, you might want to make your own drum patterns by yourself and not use presets because that would feel like cheating. If that's what you're thinking right now, I would really recommend watching this video right above my head where I talk about why this type of tool is exactly what you should be using if you're a beat maker. Anyways, if we go through some of these ideas here, you can see that some of these are actually really cool, unique ideas for drum patterns that you can use in your own beats. So you can see here when we look at the piano roll, it now gives you a pattern that you can try out. My FPC here loads with an empty bank. Yours might have the default sounds in these different pads, Regardless, what you can do is just swap out the mediocre sounds that it probably comes with and use drums from your own library, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. So very straightforward loop here, nothing too special, but if we were to try out some of these other ideas here, This is a drum pattern that feels a bit more unique now. You can see it also suggests some additional sounds that you can include if you'd like. But even if I were to go into yet another pattern here. Another really cool pattern here. This is probably something that might not have jumped straight into my head if I were to try to come up with a drum pattern idea. One that just has a big open space right here. And some of these drum patterns are so unique that they can start to inform your creative decisions for the other elements that you will build in your beat. For example, with this drum pattern right here, since we have this big open empty space right at the first beat here, maybe when I'm creating my musical loop for this beat, I can include an additional layer or a musical phrase in this area since it's a bit more open. Yeah, this sounds like a cool little beat that I have going here and the drum pattern that came from the FPC helped me create the core of this idea of this beat. Another great benefit of using the FPC is that you have your ADSR controls right at your fingertips as well, making shaping your drums a lot easier. So for example, if I wanted to go into this drum sound right here and I really wanted to tighten it up and lose that longer tail in this sample, I can just turn on the ADSR function down here and I can shape this sound to be a lot more tight. And there we go. You can also play around with the panning and change the pitch of your sounds all on this main screen as well. And what's nice is that you can go about layering your drum sounds a lot easier as well. All you gotta do is drag an additional sample into the exact same pad. For example, let's say I felt that this hi-hat here, it was a bit too dull and I wanted to brighten it up. I could take another sample and just easily drag it in. And there you go, it's playing both samples at once. You can also control how loud each one is with the volume fader right here. And if I wanted to remove it, if I didn't end up liking it, all I have to do is hit delete. And there you go. A couple of other additional useful functions that I will quickly cover to change which pad is being triggered by which note on the piano roll. If you're using a MIDI keyboard, you can just click on the pad. And you can hit the MIDI note section right up here and you can manually change which key you want to change to or you can just hit learn if you have a MIDI keyboard. And just hit any note on your MIDI keyboard. And there you go, it's now mapped to the key that you hit. 
And lastly, the last function that's really helpful is that you can map each individual pad to a different mixer insert. So let's say I want to brighten up this hi-hat using an EQ. I can just send this to its own mixer insert by using the output function right here. And there you go. So yeah, a great tool here that I quickly wanted to cover, something that you can definitely consider using and exploring if you wanna get very intricate and elaborate with your drum patterns, or you just wanna help creating drum patterns as well. This has a lot of great functionality for whatever your needs may be. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Head over to betterbeatmaker.com if you wanna check out my full online beat making course. The link to my free drum kits available in the description box below, as well as a link to the Discord if you wanna join my producer community. And I'll see you guys later.